Their status as ancient enemies has been long forgotten, but this week a minor war of words broke out between the UK and France. British Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg has taken exception to remarks by senior French politicians who are keen to point out the UK's failings as ratings agencies threaten to downgrade France's AAA credit score. We're not lecturing anyone, but neither will we let others lecture us, as some have done. It's true, Britain's economic situation is very worrying right now, and we'd rather be French than British at the moment when it comes to the economy. French Prime Minister François Fillon took the same line, complaining that ratings agencies didn't seem to take notice of the UK's high deficit. That was too much for Clegg. He told Fillon French criticism of the UK economy was unacceptable and called for a calm in the rhetoric. One senior British government MP said the pressure on the Eurozone was stoking the flames. These remarks from the French are a reflection of extreme nervousness in the Eurozone. The plain fact is the stakes are high. If the wrong decisions are taken now, it, it has the capacity to create a crisis in Western capitalism. The cross-channel tensions come as EU leaders continue to scramble to contain the Eurozone debt crisis. French President Nicolas Sarkozy and British Prime Minister David Cameron found themselves facing off at the EU summit last week, where the UK was the only one of 27 EU member states to opt out of the fiscal union pact.